Myanmar State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi has urged judges at the International Court of Justice to throw out a genocide case against the country. In her closing arguments at the end of a three-day hearing, Ms. Suu Kyi said Myanmar's intercommunal trust and unity rebuilt in Rakhine will risk being undermined if the ICJ rules in favour of ordering provisional measures in the country. More than 700,000 Rohingyas fled Myanmar after a security crackdown about two years ago. Our senior correspondent for Indochina, Mei Wang, reports Ms. Suu Kyi's final plea has won her even greater support from Myanmar citizens. People in Myanmar have been closely following the three days of hearings held in The Hague. The Gambia flashed before the ICJ judges the picture of Rohingyas allegedly murdered by the military, making its point that Myanmar did commit genocide and that the court must introduce provisional measures urgently. These include ordering Myanmar to stop the genocidal acts and to provide access to any evidence related to the genocide. But Myanmar State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi remains stoic, insisting the country did not and will not practice genocide. The Myanmar citizens agreed. Ms. Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy Party says this court hearing on genocide is humiliating for Myanmar, but she needed to explain the truth to the world. They, based on the facts, got from only one side. There's no such thing. Myanmar are very peace-loving people. As far as you can prove there's a commitment of a crime, the accused is assumed to be innocent. That's our stance. We have no intention to get any political gain by this issue because it is a serious threat to the Myanmar's dignity. International rights organizations, however, have expressed disappointment. As the Gambia detailed accusations of genocidal acts, Myanmar, they said, on the other hand, highlighted how the nation has been working hard on fostering unity between the Rakhine ethnic community and the Rohingyas. She is in total denial of the genocide against Rohingya because she is selling the point of the social cohesion and social harmony. So she is really misinterpreting misinterpret the phenomenon of genocide. She need to prevent ongoing violation. More than 120,000 Rohingyas still remain in internally displaced persons camps in Rakhine where they're not allowed to leave without permission and have limited access to education and health care. The hearing at The Hague may be over, but will this result in a wake-up call that many have been hoping for to prompt Myanmar into taking better and more positive actions towards the Rohingya community? Well, it'll be a waiting game, but it's certain that no matter what the final decision may be, the Myanmar population will most likely once again stand with Aung San Suu Kyi. May Wong, CNA, Yangon.